Hello and welcome to Vimbu.com, a smart way to learn anything you want to learn. Today in the session, we are going to learn how to create a maintenance generator for a table and uh, a transaction code for that maintenance generator. So to create a maintenance generator, we again have to enter the above dictionary, go to SC11, enter the name of the table for which you want to create a maintenance generator, say change, and you are in the table. Uh, now you will go to utilities, uh, select table maintenance generator from there and there you are in the maintenance generator screen. I want to talk a little bit about maintenance generator. Uh, basically a maintenance generator is nothing but a place um, to uh, maintain that table. Because uh, on production uh, or in general scenario on production we don't have uh, uh, a direct maintenance allowed for any, any table. So either you have to have a program or you would have to have a transaction code uh, from which you can directly maintain it. So when you create a maintenance generator, ultimately what you're doing is you're creating a program uh, which has an uh, input screen and then uh, which allows you to maintain that table. So uh, a maintenance generator is nothing but a set of program, um, is, a, is a combination of program and screens uh, that will be there on, uh, uh, that will be there to help you to maintain that, uh, that, uh, that table. So once you create a maintenance generator, it is a good practice to even create a transaction code uh, for that. So we'll create both of the things for this table. Uh, while creating um, a maintenance generator, the first thing you need to know is that you need to have an authorization group uh, which will authorize you to maintain. So we'll take the auth as our authorization group. And then the second thing uh, that you have to maintain is a function group. Now function group um, is, uh, uh, is going to store the uh, the f uh, the basic code that would be generated on the backend for this uh, uh, particular uh, table maintenance. So I'm going to create a table maintenance. Uh, I'm going to create this function group, uh, this a new function group with the same name of my view. I'll select the maintenance screen type. Now, what is a single step and a two step screen? If you select single step screen, you will get your maintenance generator with just one screen. Whereas if you said two step, your maintenance generator would have two steps with two different screens. So right now we'll just choose uh, one single step to make it a simple thing. The other thing that you have to enter is a screen number. Uh, we'll say that find screen number. This is a system generated proposal for us. So we'll let the first radio button as it is and we'll say okay. Uh, now we are ready. Uh, there is one more thing uh, before we go. Um, that is, uh, if you see in the last box, uh, you have recording routine. You have two radio buttons over there, standard rec recording routine and no or user recording routine. So what that means is that if you select the first radio button, you tell the system that for every record you maintain using this maintenance generator, you need a customizing request for it. Uh, so if you select first radio button in your maintenance generator, your system will always ask you to create a customizing request. If you select the second radio button, your system will not ask you for any request of your database record. So that means on production, you have to create a record for it. Whereas if you select the first radio button, your request would be there uh, from the development system and that would be transported to all of the system. So generally we have that radio button, uh, the first radio button ticked in the case of a customizing table. Since our this table is not a customizing table, we would let the second radio button tick and now we'll press create. Uh, this will give us a, uh, an option for a, a package and a request. We'll say local object uh, because we don't want any request for this table and then we'll move forward with it. Uh, this uh, will uh, uh, create our maintenance generator. As you can see at the bottom, there are a lot of uh, things getting created. It is not just a program, the functions and all. So now we are ready with our maintenance generator. Let us go to transaction code SM30, where you, 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 you run all these maintenance generator. Now, if you enter your maintenance generator name and press maintain, uh, you are there in the maintenance environment. You can click on the new entries and you have your generator ready. If you say save, so Vimbu3 is the new entry that I'm creating in this table. I'll go back and there it is. So this is the database record that is created. If you want to check, you can check in the table. Uh, so uh, now, uh, since we have created 
uh, we would uh, like to create uh, since we have created our maintenance generator we would now want to uh, have uh, a transaction code for it because if you don't have a transaction code this maintenance generator would always uh, be would always run from sm30 transaction so at times you don't even have sm30 authorization on production so the better practice is whenever you create a transaction whenever you create a maintenance generator for any table you also have a transaction code for it so let's go into se93 which is a transaction code creation uh, so I'm there in SE uh, 93 and I'll enter the transaction code name that I want. So I'll say Vimbu under Z Vimbu underscore zero two as a new transaction code uh, for my maintenance generator. Then enter a short description and then select the first or any of the radio button that suits you. Um, you can change it. What it is, if you want to discuss, we can. Uh, you can see that uh, your transaction code um, can be run for program and screens can uh, run for program selection screen can run with the, the methods of class of uh, and then can can have a variant so you can define uh, the basic initial settings the start settings for your transaction code so uh, um, I mean in our case uh, let's let's choose the last one the transaction with parameters why because we have to mention the parameters into it now, uh, while you are creating a, um, a transaction code, uh, you generally um, enter a transaction code um, exactly for which you want to create that T code. Generally, you have programs. Uh, if you want uh, a program to have a transaction code, you would enter a program name. Uh, but since we have a transaction code SM30, from where you run all the maintenance generator, we'll enter SM30 here and then you come down and then you have uh, these checkboxes uh, you will check all these three checkboxes they are nothing but to just let system know that uh, um, you you want uh, the GUI support for HTML Java and for Windows uh, that's fine now uh, if you come down we have default values this is something interesting and in which differentiate this thing if you uh, if you go for, for the search up you see a lot of fields uh, view name, view, um, uh, I mean, um, uh, fields, uh, show, update, transport. Basically, these fields are the default values and the default fields that you want uh, your transaction to have. In our case, uh, we will choose view name. Why? Because um, we have our view attached to the transaction code and we want to run this view from SM30. So ultimately what we are doing is we are telling that the new transaction code that we are creating is nothing but uh, a, trans uh, a transaction code SM30 with the value for a view name as uh, ZTest Vimbu 02. So our uh, this thing will call uh, ZTest Vimbu 02 um, maintenance screen directly from this. Choose update another field and uh, put a next value into it and then activate it if I now save and activate it uh, it is there ready for me I save it in local object because I don't want any transport request for it now press an F8 you would see this transaction code running uh, there it gets me the value if you want to check the transaction code you can enter Z Vimbu 2 and see uh, if it is running for us. Uh, okay, uh, sorry, it's it's zero two. So I'll enter Z Vimbu underscore zero two, and there it is. So we are ready with our maintenance view and uh, the transaction code for it. Thank you.